embarrassing him. If that head would have been between the pillar and the pool, he broke out. What up martial arts people, today is the day, finally after a long break, because we're moving, you see I have another background, it's not yet finished, but we are watching today Senchai, King of Muay Thai. I saw there's an other documentary that we're probably gonna watch as well with the God of Muay Thai. Today we're occupied with this one here, so grab yourself a shake, get yourself some protein snack in, and then we're gonna watch this one. Go! A historic practitioner of Muay Thai with over 300 wins and two decades of dominance. Oh, right to the solar plexus. King Star. This is the greatest Muay Thai fighter of his generation. We'll see, Maybe we'll one see. Of the greatest Muay Thai fighters ever. Look at that lean back, lightning fast lean back. And almost elastic ability to dodge attacks. He some kind of looks like an old man, but I think that's speaking from his experience. You know right? what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. It's just like, wow. His, his fighting is him. It's kind of outgoing, <laughs> like. This is a weird, funky guy, and it makes sense that he fights like that. His fighting is definitely an expression of himself. He has the reflexes of a cat. And the speed of a mongoose. Right. <laughs> I dare you. Oh, His sweeps and throws are some of the most effective in the sport's history. Such a cool sweep. He even has his own signature move. Like a Street Fighter character. Cartwheel kick. The cartwheel kick. This is sent. That's crazy because that's actually a move from Capoeira, and a lot of people tend to like look down on Capoeira and say, "Oh, it's more like dancing." It's kind of the same, like, yeah, history as some of the traditional kung fu um, styles, some of the kung fu family styles had, because it was forbidden for the slaves to practice this, and they this guy it in a sort of a dance and with kung, uh, kung fu they had certain hand signs for example this one here uh, i'm uh, sure you have seen this and this guy a little bit and over time it became yeah what we know it as today but this cartwheel kick never seen that work but it actually does tiger uppercut or sonic boom or i should say i've never tried it myself sonic boom perfect timing when you when you fight this level, even the blocks hurt. That... There's a magic to his movement. How did Sanchai figure out how to do Muay Thai? Oh, Joe Rogan. He's basically the Pele or Sugar Ray Robinson of Muay Thai. Muay Thai, or Thai boxing, is a national sport in Thailand. The sport of Muay Thai has a documented history <clears throat> going back centuries. Sorry to interrupt again, but as we learned in the last documentary that we watched it, got quite popular uh, you should have seen it by now or you should see it it's really watch uh, worth watching it as we discovered it's also like um for the people in thailand it's also to seek out like a solution for their lives because if they can't work somewhere or they're not making money to provide for the family the fighting is huge in Thailand, as we learned, to make it out of poverty. That's why. And also, a guy at my kickboxing gym, he's going to Thailand to uh, for a month in uh, autumn, and he told me like it's cool to see then like 16 year olds with 200 fights already in, and they beat the shit out of you. <laughs> That's that must have been a crazy experience, but yeah. Hopefully next year I make it's it to Thailand as well. Popular. Also, it's on the plan. Children, the One best month. fighters are trained from childhood, and so the level of skill and competition is through the roof. Like the great warriors of the past, Sen Chai began training as a child. By eight years old, he was fighting for dollars God damn, I didn't. in front of local crowds. Much of his early career isn't available. Lost to time. Why Thai is a deep-rooted tradition here. The Lumpini title is considered the most prestigious title in Muay Thai. Senchai would title. capture okay. it an astounding to remember that. five times across five weight divisions. That's something I, I don't think I want to fight in 
something like this or in like under muay thai rules under kickboxing rules yes but my body is like my holy temple and to see then such moves like this elbow strike from 12 to 6 i think i'm not, not sure if this is the actual 12 to 6 elbow but it, which is legal in mma um i don't want to put myself under this condition if something goes wrong because we have seen a documentary as well about cte in mixed martial arts and i'm afraid of this shit for me no if you enjoy this if you are the tough guy here then yeah why not do it but think also maybe about the consequences of your doing and also if you have a family he captured his first lumpini title in 97 at age 16. yeah he can do it all he can check he can box he can clench he, he can do it all he burst onto the scene in 95 and has been a I wasn't even born of the sport then. ever since i was born even in today 97. Beautiful left kick from Sancho there. He's so interesting. The really beautiful left. Switches of the feet and like even Ball. the way he throws kicks, he's just got like a little different flavor to everything he does. I don't think he can help it. You know what I mean? There's just something about the guy's character. Nice kick from Sancho. Good balance. No playing now, is that? He he does it so effortless. That's crazy. There is a spiritual side to the art of eight limbs. Waikru is a ritual ceremony performed by Muay Thai fighters directly before engaging in battle. <laughs> watching on DVD, I can't stress this enough, you need to go to these shows live to appreciate the skills. You can't argue with the skills. You can't argue. Was there some editing? I don't think so, no. That's also so interesting. I have a Kung Fu background. I did a couple of years uh, Hong Kong Kung Fu, which is Southern martial arts style from China. Uh, and the parallels between Kung Fu in general and Muay Thai are quite obvious. Both are traditional, both came from the battlefield somehow at least. And the interesting part is that Kung Fu nowadays didn't make it to adapt to modern society. And Muay Thai somehow did. And I think it has a lot to do with it became from the battlefield, from real fighting for the streets, you know what I'm talking about, to, to a sport took it into a sports context and made it therefore more available to more people and i mean if you don't if you can't pass your knowledge from martial art x to your student y then it will be lost and i think that's not gonna, ha gonna happen with muay thai because it made it into the public domain i mean look at the views counts of like one bellator and um, the ufc for example glory kickboxing as well it's not muay thai but a lot of people are watching those things and that's how you pass on knowledge in my opinion at least nowadays <clears throat> He's something special. It takes a lot of energy to move around the way he does. Yeah, I'm sure he still shows up to the gym every single day. Too. I'm sure. And he's like holding pads for foreigners and all that stuff. The cartwheel kick. Senchai is credited for inventing it, and he tries to use it every fight. Those kicks are blasting. Wow. Meanwhile, he's in his prime. That's the crazy, Stormina. <laughs> Multiple times more. <laughs> Have fight. Good luck. He won yes. Fighter of the Year in both 99 and 2008. 
He's mastered distance management, using teeps and counters to control the action. I would say his neck is absolutely disgusting. That was cool how he did it from the outside, then like... Nice kick! Yeah, signature move. <laughs> Celebrating it. <laughs> One of the most stylistic Muay Thai artists ever. Compared to like watching Muay Thai in the States and then going there, the amount of kicks and knees at the door. Mm. I'm looking at fighting like, okay, like when's the next punch gonna happen? These guys throwing kick after kick after kick for five rounds. <laughs> it's just After winning five what happened? Mutini titles, <laughs> yeah, Sam Chai same. was revered as an icon in Thailand. To be honest, Davey, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Commentating on a San Chai fight. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> San Chai, obviously, an absolute legend in the sport. Um, his fight against Pornson and Lumpini, wow. His next level skill was always on full display. Always fighting with such ease and comfort. A true warrior artist. He understood the value of winning the crowd. And that's what gets you sold them tickets. What increases your value as a person for the Depending big organizations. Where he was, He'd adjust his style to please that particular crowd. Oh, I'm sure that's part of his success. Oh. If that nose is not broken, I don't know. Start with the left body kick. Wow, the balance is just fantastic. Against one of the best fighters in the world, San Chai put on a scissors. Nice class. jumping left kick into a left kick again as, as he lands. That is ridiculous balance. Known as a tricky fighter. <laughs> oh, cartwheel kick from San Chai this early on. Round one lands it flush as well. Beautiful takedown there, catching Takon's right body kick. Hey, how you doing? The cameraman doesn't even show us the round number here. Oh, what, what a moron. Sanchai, a very tricky fighter. A lot of flash, a lot of faking. It's amazing the speed at which Sanchai can move around to Takon's back. His ability to maneuver the ring was on full display. Leaping kicks, cartwheels, knees, elbows. It was an entire arsenal brought to us by the GOAT, San Chai. Oh, solid left kick there. Ah, oh, beautiful side kick by San Chai. Skipping inside side from San Chai there. Good block. Oh, big rear leg and teeth. His from trickster ways are a brilliant set of. Did they do something in the editing? Because every time like this teeps hit, they, they there is like this sound that you also hear in like um, the old kung fu movies, <laughs> where they hit each other. Skills that keep <laughs> opponents off balance. They're just amazing. Yeah. Back with a double left oh, of his own. Oh. Pakorn was a Lumpini champion. Sen Chai made him look lost. Big cheap from Sanchai getting out of trouble. How they're on the feet for these two titles. 
Nice. That's the heart of the martial artist. And the red corner, Sanchai PK, Sanchai Muay Thai. The win sent notice to the Muay Thai world. Sanchai's reign was far from over. Sanchai is an ambassador of all Muay Thai represents. A calm, controlled art that's been honed over centuries in one of the most beautiful places on earth, Thailand. God damn, I want to go there. Hope my girlfriend comes with me. Sanchai <laughs> has a knack for fighting opponents who are considerably larger than himself. He's developed a reputation as a giant slayer. Against foreign fighters, weight was little more than a number. As San Chai fought men who towered over him. San Chai obviously very, very tricky. Great balance, lots of faking, and steps forward, you know, hard shots. He's pushing him down with his even in the elite style. This is crazy. Like, San Chai was consistently giving up two to three pounds to his opponents. <laughs> The cartwheel kick is highly difficult to execute, and yet Sen Chai does so consistently. He seamlessly switches between distance and uses incredible feints to lure opponents into mistakes. It's an exciting style that keeps opponents off balance. The vicious elbow. Sanchai just does so many tricks and feints and everything, doesn't he? he just... His balance is just amazing, Davy. Yes. That switch, wow, that was so cool. Yeah. Last, no, it's not last week, like a couple of weeks ago. One of our uh, students in the kickboxing gym uh, got knocked out because exactly this happened. And <laughs> the way that it happened was that the dude was like, he couldn't control himself, he couldn't control his emotions and his adrenaline arose slightly every round. Bam, 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 bam. More, 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 and more. And he started to be aggressive or punch harder and he sparred the instructor the teacher and so what happened was he wasn't paying attention to his defense and exactly this happened he moved with his head into the um into the high kick of the instructor bomb coyote and since then yeah he's he's a little more chill <laughs> sometimes it takes some humiliating uh type of occasion for you to see that sparring or sparring with your friends with your classmates is not the place to go full and be aggressive and let your emotions from a shitty day control yourself. <clears throat> By way of knockout in the first round, Thailand, Sentai, PK Sentai. Is he there? Is he there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's there. He's coming, he's coming. Here, Sentai launches into his signature move. Then comes right back with a head kick. Oh, right beside the guard. You catch this? Maybe we can see guard dropping here. Here comes kick. Bomb. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know about you, but I find this very pleased to watch. <laughs> Against another significantly larger oh, man, in shirt. Nice. Sanchai <laughs> took him apart. Ooh. Right on the arse. 
His skill is just unmatched. Here, he feigns a kick, then slips around behind his opponent. <laughs> landing the <laughs> devastating <laughs> body shot. <laughs> <laughs> what the Dead fuck? Down behind his opponent. <laughs> Let's see, we'll see that again. That was so yeah, good. Sunshine is just his skill is just unmatched. Here he feigns a kick, then slips around behind his opponent, <laughs> landing the devastating body shot. Not much feeling. Some something that I wonder uh, if somebody of you is doing Muay Thai. <laughs> and watching this, this here, is this some kind of traditional glove? Or, I mean, it's not a usual boxing glove, you can see that. There is some protection here for knuckles, but it's not like bare knuckle, it's like protection. But what's kind of size? Is it has a size? Does it have a size? Or a little explanation would be would be nice oh, from a practitioner um, if you're one of you. It's also not wrapped fully here. Yeah, I'm sure the Thai people want to see him take down before and A one-sided drumming, a thorough domination, which usually ends in a spectacular knockout. It looks like he's really pushing down. It was more of the same. He bends without breaking. Flexible like a bamboo. With so many tricks in his bag, Sanchai is impossible to anticipate. Oh, shit. Exactly this kind of injuries is why I want to have gloves. <laughs> or bigger gloves. At least right now. An excellent counter punch ends the bout in an instant. <laughs> Let's see that again. <laughs> Shit. Like a real Bruce Lee move. Oh. <laughs> Oh. A brutal elbow landed right on target. The vicious first round knockout. I always want to see like full combat fights like this and seeing that, that I don't have the stamina for this shit. Just yet. A thing of beauty. Another Bruce Lee move. He often frustrates his opponents with his flamboyant defense. <laughs> Senchai has yes, never stopped lost it. Yes, stopped it. A perfect 61 and 0. Strike so quick, it is virtually. And, and you hook move. 
Wow. He's very versatile. That's that's one of my clear. favorite kind of knockouts. The delayed knockout. When the opponent takes a few moments to realize that they've been knocked out already. I wanted to end with one of my favorite Sanchai moments. His opponent, Gabriel Dos Santos, got a little pushy pre-fight. Sanchai laughed it off. However, as the match began, Sanchai's Never foot got caught man. in the ropes. When this occurs, Dos Santos attempts to strike, which is considered extremely dirty in the sport. The ref steps in to allow Sanchai to free his leg. But Senchai is not happy about it. What ensued was Senchai imposing his will on Dos Santos. Toying with him. Embarrassing him. If that head would have been between... To pair and to he broke brush. out every trick in the book to make sure Dos Santos forever remembered the night he dared cheap shot the Muay Thai goat. Sen Chai is considered by many to be the greatest practitioner of Muay Thai in the sport's history. An exciting style mixed with tremendous showmanship. A fluidity that keeps foes off balance as he seamlessly moves between styles. For two decades, he's reigned atop the sport. Dazzling spectators and inspiring the next generation of great warriors. Sen Chai, King Star, Goat of Muay Thai. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Wow, that was really the King of Muay Thai, really. I don't know what you think, but this was very inspiring and I'm looking forward to training this afternoon. It's kickboxing, but we also have one or the other cake. So <laughs> leave the video a like if you like this one. Let me know what you want to see next. And maybe you can also post a link then. I can see what interests you that you want an opinion of a former Kung Fu practitioner now, kickbox enthusiast, martial arts enthusiast on. And with that being said, I would see let's see in the next one.